Have you ever wondered how coconut oil is made at home? This versatile oil, rich in flavor and nutritional benefits, has long held a cherished place in kitchens, cosmetic routines, and wellness practices across the globe. From the tropical islands of the Pacific to the aromatic kitchens of South Asia, coconut oil is more than just an ingredient. It's a symbol of cultural heritage and a testament to the ingenuity of our ancestors. When made at home, coconut oil takes on a whole new level of purity and freshness, free from additives and processed with love. We'll walk you through the journey from a humble coconut to a jar of golden oil, unveiling the art and science behind this fascinating process. So, are you ready to unlock the secret of making coconut oil at home? There are two primary methods to extract coconut oil, cold pressing and hot pressing. Each method has its pros and cons, with differences in yield, quality, and nutrient retention. Cold pressing, as the name suggests, involves extracting oil without the application of heat. It's typically done using a hydraulic press that applies pressure to the coconut meat, squeezing out the oil. The advantage of this method is that it retains most of the coconut's nutrients, resulting in a high-quality oil. However, it also tends to yield less oil compared to hot pressing. On the other hand, hot pressing involves heating the coconut meat before pressing. This method can extract more oil, but the heat can degrade some nutrients. So, if you're after quantity over quality, hot pressing might be the way to go. Now, let's unearth some traditional wisdom. In many coconut producing regions, they employ age-old methods that combine elements of both cold and hot pressing. One such method involves grating the coconut meat mixing it with water, and then squeezing out the resultant milk. This milk is then heated at a low temperature until the oil separates and can be skimmed off. This method is labor-intensive, but it's highly regarded for the quality of oil it produces. So which method should you choose? Well, it depends on your priorities. If you want the highest quality oil, with all the nutrients intact, then cold pressing is the way. But if you're looking to get the most oil out of your coconuts, then hot pressing might be your best bet. And if you're intrigued by tradition and don't mind putting in some elbow grease, then the traditional method could be a rewarding experience. The choice is yours. Each method has its unique charm and benefits, and experimenting with them can be an enriching journey in itself. Knowing these methods allows you to choose the one that best suits your needs. The quality of your coconut oil heavily depends on the coconuts you choose. Now let's talk about selecting the best coconuts. The maturity of the coconut plays a crucial role. Mature coconuts, typically brown and hairy, have a firm, thick layer of flesh, which is ideal for oil extraction. On the other hand, green coconuts are younger, with a thin layer of soft flesh and a higher water content. While they are great for drinking and cooking, they aren't the best for oil extraction. Freshness is also vital. A fresh coconut has a sweet, pleasant aroma and a rich, creamy texture. You can test the freshness by shaking the coconut. If you hear a sloshing sound, it means the coconut is fresh with plenty of water inside. Finally, quality. Look for coconuts free from cracks, mold, and unpleasant smells. These signs could indicate a rotten or old coconut. Remember, a good coconut makes a good coconut oil. Once you've got your coconuts, it's time to prepare them for oil extraction. The first step is to crack them open. This might seem daunting, but with a bit of practice and a sturdy tool, you'll be a pro in no time. But remember, safety first. You'll want to hold the coconut firmly and give it a good whack in the middle. After you've cracked open your coconut, you'll find the white, fleshy part inside. This is the coconut meat. You'll need to remove it from the shell. This can be done using a butter knife or a coconut tool, but patience is key here. You don't want to damage the meat as it's full of the oil we're after. Once you've removed the meat, it's important to give it a good clean. This removes any impurities or debris that might have found their way onto the meat. Proper preparation is key to getting the most out of your coconuts. Now, let's move on to the exciting part. Extracting coconut milk. This is where the real magic begins. First, you'll need to take your cleaned coconut meat and pop it into a blender. While a traditional grater can do the job, a blender speeds up the process and ensures a smoother consistency. 
Remember, the goal is to extract as much milk from the meat as possible. Blend until you have a thick, creamy paste. Once you've achieved this, it's time to squeeze out the milk. You can do this by hand or by using a cheesecloth. The resulting liquid is your fresh coconut milk. This is a crucial ingredient in making high-quality coconut oil. It's the freshness of this milk that will give your coconut oil its unique flavor and aroma. With your coconut milk ready, you're one step closer to your homemade coconut oil. Stay tuned as we dive into the next step, separating the coconut cream from the water. The next step is to transform your coconut cream into coconut oil. This is where the magic happens, and it's a process steeped in tradition and science alike. It's not complicated, but it does require patience and a keen eye. Let's dive into it. First, we're going to gently heat our coconut cream. It's crucial to maintain a low heat setting throughout this process. This is because high temperatures can destroy the valuable nutrients in the coconut oil, diminishing its health benefits and altering its taste. So we pour our cream into a pan and set the stove on low heat. As the cream slowly warms up, you'll notice it's starting to melt and become more liquid. This is a good sign. You're on the right path. Now, stirring is key at this stage. You'll want to keep the cream moving to ensure that it heats evenly and to prevent it from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Take your time, stir gently, and watch as the cream slowly transforms. The importance of monitoring the temperature can't be overstated. An instant read thermometer can be a handy tool here. You're aiming to keep the temperature below 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the sweet spot where you get maximum extraction without damaging the oil. As the heat works its magic, the water in the cream will start to evaporate, leaving behind the oil. You'll see the cream separating, with clear oil rising to the top. Knowing when your oil is ready can be a bit tricky. Generally, you're looking for the oil to separate completely and the remaining solids to turn a golden brown. This can take anywhere from one to two hours, depending on the quantity of cream you're processing. Patience is truly a virtue when making coconut oil. The process can't be rushed, but the reward, a jar of pure, fresh, homemade coconut oil, is well worth the wait. And voila, you've got your coconut oil. But we're not done yet. The final steps of filtering and storing your oil are just as important, ensuring you end up with a clean, high-quality product that will keep for months. The final step is filtering and storing your coconut oil. Once you've successfully extracted the oil, it's time to get rid of any remaining impurities. This is achieved through a process known as filtering. What you'll need is something like a cheesecloth or a fine mesh strainer. These materials are effective in catching the tiny particles that might still be lingering in your oil. Pour the oil through your chosen filter and voila, you're left with clear, pure coconut oil. But we're not quite done. Now, we need to store this liquid gold properly. Storing coconut oil correctly is crucial to maintaining its freshness and quality over time. You might be tempted to just cover it with a cloth and leave it on your counter, but that won't do. Coconut oil, like many other oils, is sensitive to light and heat. Therefore, it's best to store your coconut oil in an airtight container. Glass jars with tight lids work exceptionally well for this purpose. Once your oil is safely in its new home, find a cool, dark place to store it. A pantry or a cabinet away from your stove or oven is ideal. The aim is to keep it away from direct sunlight and heat sources that could cause it to go rancid. What's great about coconut oil is its long shelf life. If stored correctly, it can last up to two years without spoiling. That's a lot of time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Remember, though, to always check your oil before using it. If it smells off or has changed color, it's best to discard it and make a fresh batch. And there you have it. From selecting the perfect coconut to storing your homemade oil, you've learned the art of making coconut oil. With time and practice, you'll be able to refine your technique and maybe even develop your own unique process. Congratulations! You now know how to make your very own coconut oil at home.